Alright guys, for those of you guys that are just joining, um, yeah I did hit up the stream. I was uploading a video to Paul, so I, uh, I completely forgot. <laughs> and my stream was dropping frames, so I actually had to cut it and wait till the upload was done. Um, so, I'm gonna start off with this bullshit! This is my other, my, my bullshit account, uh, account that I just fuck around on. So, alright. Uh, let's see here. Create soldier. So, whenever you're you're setting up a uh, a character and you're just unlocking for your first time, tip. Very easy tip to remember, and it helps out a ton. Be sure to unlock the covert ops player first. Reason why? Read the perks that are unlocked. Dead silence and off the grid. So that's going to help you out a ton right off the rip because off the grid and dead silence cost quite a bit and you're not going to have a lot of squad points. So that being said, unlock that bad boy right there. But I've already got classes set up here. Let me see here. Clear, clear. All right. So, first things first, you usually unlock the SC-2010 and the Honey Badger when you choose that, um, but I would go over to the guy right now and show you guys, but I don't want to waste all my squad points again, so, because I don't, I don't have many on this fucking account, 37. Pardon my French! I'm trying to control my swearing, dude, I can't help it. I was born with a potty mouth. Even the bus driver when I used to go to school said I had a potty mouth. It happens. It happens. Anyways. So. A gun that I'm actually starting to like. And I'm probably going to start a trend with this damn video. Is the FAD. That thing's a flipping monster. Ooh, I caught myself there. How do you guys like that? Bam. Bam. So, first thing I unlock is silencer and grip. Only because it's nice to be stealthy. Especially when you're you're first starting out. Um, another thing is, is these, these loadouts are going to help players with, um, like low KDs, 1 KD, even below 1 KD. So this is going to help out a ton. So first things first, this is what I would roll if I didn't have a headset. All right. So these are your starting perks. I don't run a secondary, don't run lethal, don't run tactical. If that's your cup of tea, this loadout is not going to work for you. So, that being said, most of my loadouts are going to be set up for specialist. <laughs> um, but, great thing about this class setup is if you're a, a low KD player, like below 1 KD or at the 1 KD border, you can still roll assault. And you're gonna roll. So this is gonna be your assault loadout. And I don't have scavenger on here, and you're not gonna have a secondary, so you might possibly run out of fucking ammo. That being said, damn it, I swore again. Damn it, I did it again. Damn it, I. Ugh. Anyways. Uh, so your goal on this setup is to blow through all your ammo and at least get your nine kill streak for your assault. Now I'm not saying blow through all your ammo because, you know, just for shits and giggles, don't stare at a wall blow through ammo. The point I'm trying to make is is if you blow through all of your ammo without scavenger or without having to pick up a gun and you unlock your battle hind, you're progressing. So that's your goal basically is to maintain as much ammo as you can and unlock that battle hind and that's progression in my opinion so keep that in mind when I say blow through your ammo that doesn't mean just spray up in the fucking air um but for the specialist loadout actually I'll just keep it assault that's gonna be your loadout and I'll explain why your perks are set up like that so when you don't have a headset you can't hear anybody creeping around a corner behind you whatnot and you, you, you won't have those reflexes that somebody with a headset does have. So, to help counter that is, A, dead silence. Even though you can't sound horror because you don't have a headset, it, it doesn't matter. 
because if they can't hear you, it's going to help out a ton. And you can slightly still hear someone with dead silence if they have Amplify on, but it, it, it helps out a ton, especially against me where a lot of the times I'll die because either they have dead silence or they're camping. But most of the time I'll pick up on it. But for somebody who's not on my caliber, I guess you can say, um, dead silence is a great choice. Since you can't hear anybody coming in around the corners, you need to be able to ready up your gun as soon as possible. And that helps. Quick draw, you're ready up. So you're sprinting, you're running around, and like I said, you can't hear footsteps. This is going to get your gun up way faster so you can try to take out that target. And stalker because you're using an assault rifle. Um, you, you, stalker's really not needed if you're going to run an SMG, but this is going to be a noob class setup and FAD is the way to go. So there you have it. That's why I chose these perks for a non-headset user. Um, so let me dive right into somebody who has a headset with a low KD, which is very rare that that happens, but... All right, so I'm going to get rid of this, this, the five. One before. On my other account. Damn it. All right. We'll do this for the 1KD player. Or with the headset. So, I'm sure you guys have played the game enough to know that these clowns like to throw IEDs down wherever the hell they wish. And it's annoying as hell, especially when you come around the corner, go up some steps, and you get screwed. So, Blast Shield will save you. You will tank one IED, and you will also tank one IMS explosion. So, if you hear an IMS go off, you're going to be like, oh shit, this is going to save you. Blast Shield still tanks one IMS. So, that's a plus. And then... A roll specialist. Well, actually, I keep forgetting I'm, I'm trying to help out the 1KD players. So, assault. This will be your assault loadout again with a headset. And the only difference is blast shield and your uh, your amplify. Now, the reason why you won't need a need quick draw or ready up is because if you can hear somebody coming around a corner, your gun should already be up ready to shoot that guy. Especially if you have good sound placement. So that's why you have two extra perk slots with Blast Shield and an Amplify. Actually, I should say four because they buy mounts like that. But there you have it. There's your assault loadout. Hop into a game and show you guys how to run this. Bang, 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 bang. Wow. Team Deathmatch. Time to work, Ghost Squad. Game in session, yum. Oh, my whole team's camping over here. SATCOM up, Lincoln Able. Oh! Couldn't do anything. Could not do anything. We're winning this fight! Guard dog ready. Pop this bad boy up. You're going to want to make sure you check your corners. So you're going to want a, a fast enough sensitivity to check your damn corners. Fast enough sensitivity to check your corners and get back on... Uh, see? IED blast shield, baby. For the 1KD player, you're not... 
Oh, what are you doing? My doggy got him. Enemy satcom spot. Um, you're not gonna rush out into the open. Bruh. No, I thought you was gonna do what you said you was gonna do. Guard dog ready. All right, spot still with me. I'm gonna shoot my pup. Yeah. You... Uh huh. All right, this game's over. So I came in swinging. Report to command for debrief. So that demonstrates all perks needed. Helps out a ton. Especially that IED example right there. They like to throw them anywhere and everywhere. The game type that you're going to want to play to raise your KD is TDM for the most part. Here's another look at the loadout again. I'll explain again the perks. Stalker, you're going to want because you got an AR. When you're, ADS, when you're ADSing and trying to strafe against the target that's shooting at you, it's going to help out a ton. Um, blast Shield, already, already demonstrated. Uh, if you have a headset, Amplify and Dead Silence is going to help out a ton. Sleight of Hand, it, it's always good. I, it's a perk that should never be neglected, especially going against multiple targets. One more example of how to use this class for a 1KD player. Kind of hard for me to try to demonstrate what a 1KD player plays like. Especially with my Gene sensitivities. And actually, I don't even know why this is on 14. I knew it felt fucking slower than dog shit. The only time I raise my uh, my sensitivity past 16 is when I'm uh, work, I'm playing cranked because they move so fast. Notice the spots that I'm looking at. I saw my teammate die. Pull a thumb. Saw another teammate die. So I hear a guy upstairs. I'm about to head up there and get on him. Oh, since you're a 1KD player, you're going to want to hug the outside of the map. You're I'm not really going to want to go up here. into the middle into gunfire if you can't handle your sensitivities or aim that quick. In later videos... Ooh, whoa, Nelly! Later videos, I will... Uh, I'll tell you guys how to hone in Damn your me. sound horn. Know where to look when you hear a ton of footsteps. Enabled. Fucking trimmers, man. Guard dog ready. No. Wow, I stopped trying oh, to get him up. That nigga was laying on the ground. That's how he got me. Enemy SATCOM spotted.
Oh, teammate, what are you doing? Guard dog killed in action. How that dude knew where to look is beyond me. Damn me. SATCOM uplink enabled. Enemy SATCOM spotted. Always avoid mid. We're winning this fight. Guard dog ready. Dog ready. Guard dog killed in action. Good day's work. Some drink, right? Oh, no. Jackass. <laughs> I'm on jackass. <laughs> what? what? I just want something to drink. He wants something to drink, baby.